As I mentioned at the beginning of the last Hawaii International Conference in 2004, Fermat's theorem can be generalized in many ways. Last time I entitled my, called my paper Euler's Generalization of Fermat's Theorem, a further generalization. This time I have generalized it in a different way and my paper is entitled Minimum Universal Exponent Generalization of Fermat's Theorem. Now the advantage of this generalizing in this way is that we can predict the Mersenne prime factors of very large numbers. By very large numbers, I mean numbers running to billions of digits. For example, I have taken this number 2 to the power a 20 digit prime number plus 29. This number has actually got about 296 billion digits. And judge whether 2 to this power, this number minus 1 is a prime or not. It is going to take them many years. Yet I can say that 2 to this power, I will call this E, 2 to power E plus 29 is exactly divisible by 31. This is because the factor group 2 to the power K P minus 1 upon M P is isomorphic with Z P which is cyclic. At the last conference, I gave an algorithm whereby we can find factors of very large numbers like this by applying my theorem pertaining to the last paper that is Euler's generalization of Fermat's theorem, a further generalization. In this paper, I am only emphasizing predicting Mersenne prime factors of very large numbers. Now, here I can say that this number is exactly divisible by 31 for the simple reason that when x is equal to 1, 2 raised to x plus 29 is 31 and this exponent that I given x minus 1 is divisible by 5. And you will find that not only is the, the number that I have given is divisible by 31, but any now exponent here which ends with 1 or 6 will be divisible by 31. At the same time, I can say that this number is not divisible by the machine prime 127 for the simple reason that if you go through the x from 1 to 7, you will find that 127 is, does not appear in the picture at all. So, it does not appear as a factor of 2 raised to x plus 29 for however large x may be. However large x may be, 2 raised to x plus 29 will never be a multiple of 127. Now, we come to the theorem itself. Let me present the theorem itself. The theorem is let f x equal to a raised to x plus c where a x belongs to n belong to n and n c belongs to z and a and c belong are all fixed. Let f x not equal to a raised to x not plus c if which equal to m. Then a raised to x not plus c plus k lambda m plus c is congruent mod m. Here lambda m is the minimum exponent, universal exponent. The paper itself I sent, you can read the paper itself on the proof in the proceedings. I have already emailed it, so it is part of the proceedings. The main point I want to say about the proof is that it is based on Taylor's theorem like my previous proof and the emphasis is on predicting Mersenne prime factors of very large numbers by applying this property that 2 raised to kp minus 1 upon mp is isomorphic with zp. Before concluding, I would like to say a few things about Mersenne composites. One thing is that these the factors of Mersenne composite numbers are predictable. They all have a fixed structure. They all have the format kp plus 1 where k belongs to n and p is the prime number, relevant prime number. Yeah, I have given some examples here, 2 raised to 11 minus 1, the factor 2 into 11 plus 1 that is 23 and the other factor is 8 into 11 plus 1 that is 89. All of them all have the structure only. So, it is easy to search for factors of machine composites. There is another thing I would like to say about machine primes and Carmichael numbers. 
the factors of carmichael numbers are not all mercy you will find only one or two mercy prime factors the rest are all non mercy prime factors before concluding i would like to play a compliment to my friend max alexey he is a phd student in bioinformatics in the university of california san diego he has coined the term devraj numbers for that to know more about that you have to search for oeis that is online encyclopedia of integer sequences sequence numbers a104016 and a104017 but the reason i want to pay a compliment to him is not because he has coined this this class of numbers after me he has named this class of numbers after me but because he is a very helpful type of person see my knowledge of pro programming was an absolute zero he guided me step by step he guided me as about downloading the appropriate mathematics program called pari then he helped me to install it and from the how to program the simplest program he guided me step by step what key i should press and all that that's why i wanted to pay a compliment to him and by using this mathematics software and programming i am able to do a lot of research like this one thank you very much i would like to thank the organizers of this conference for permitting me to present this paper by bcd